Gamers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Special guest Heistel Heistel Fighty. Heistel Fighty. Heistel Fighty. I don't even have that much beer yet. And the fuzz is sitting here off camera, but you may not try this one. <laughs> Gonna take a look at a beer that was sent to us by the great Albino Rhino of Ontario. It is something from Cameron's. Cameron's Rye PA. RPA. In a delightful pun. Rye Pale Ale. It's a pale ale brewed with malt, with rye malt. So it says Cameron's Rye Pale Ale has a combination of five malts and seven hop varieties. Best served fresh. Now, well, I've had it for about a month and a half, so hopefully it's still fresh. That ain't fresh. Wow. I think oh. eight weeks is usually the limit of freshness. I think he picked it up fresh at the brewery when he when he got this. So. Nice. Uh, the, the blend of floral, British, and pungent American hops is well supported by a malt, full malt body with a generous portion of rye malt. Now, it's a kind of a play on letters, to be totally honest. Like, rye PA sounds a lot like IPA, so you got a rye, uh, India Pale Ale brew with uh, with rye. So uh, that's how we explain it to Fuzzy off camera. So. It's not funny if you have to explain it. All right, so 6.6% ABV. Let's pop the top off of this one. Now, I haven't had anything from Cameron's. Have you? Not that I recall. Have you? I drink rum. <laughs> <laughs> you drink rye whiskey? Well, sometimes. All right, whatever. No, um, all right, well, that answers that question. I knew it was stupid. But, uh, <laughs> well, you never know unless you ask. You never know. Yeah, that should be it. Ice Cold Mighty's going to take this one out of the bottle. Don't be a D-bag. for the team. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's cloudy. <laughs> nice tan-colored head. One finger. Of course, that's only under half a bottle, so it would have probably gotten more if I poured it the whole way up. Yep. Got a lot of carbonation coming up through that, too. Yeah, it doesn't look too filtered. Nice kind of uh, it's not red too color. Filtered, and I see a couple things floating in there, but uh, it's not a lot. Um, for the most part, it's just this hazy, almost brown, orange, amber kind of color to it, and a tan head that's leaving some good sticky lacing. Actually, it's it's looking a little Irish ready. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is look a little Irish ready. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, Ooh big uh, on the citrus hops. Those, oh. those those pungent American hops. <laughs> Well, those are still uh, nice and strong. Bunch of them are definitely American hops. Very fruity, it's like citrus and orange. I think like, I'm getting like a little of that rye malt. Fruit. I think I'm getting a little rye malt. There's a little bit of a rye spice to it, but not a lot. No, it's mostly those uh, big American it's hops. The, it's the hops mask every almost everything out. You should be able to sell those big sweet. American hops. Ooh, those big American hops really jump out at you. Great. <laughs> ah, right up my nose. But it's like it's 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 got that citrus. It's almost like orange grapefruit, like a, a pink grapefruit. And um, I believe at this point everyone knows what American hops smell. Yeah, pretty much. It's one of the seas. <laughs> awesome. All, all right, the so seas. That, that's, that's a really nice. That's a really nice small beer. Floral. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Lovely. I don't really pick up a lot of the British. How could you? You, you can't really. That? Yeah, with the American hops varying, and like British is the British hop smell. Perhaps we'll see it doesn't jump out as much. Anyway, let's let's take a sip. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's nice, nice malt going. Background. Nice malt going Ooh. in. A little spice on the back, but yeah, those big American hops are there. I think I'm getting a you little. Get the British coming out of that too. I think a little bit of the British are coming through in the taste. I'm getting like an earthy British hop quote, like from the back, like a a spicy, uh, spicy earthy. Right there. Right in the middle of the head, in the back. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more on the sides, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, whatever. There's a bee buzzing around here. Again okay. with the bees? I thought I killed them. Hmm. Oh no, they're back for revenge. Well, that's a good blend. You got that rye malt flavor, spicy rye malt, spicy earthy hop, a nice citrus grapefruit kind of flavor to it, and a, a nice well-running package that's not too heavy on the palate. No, yeah, there's a lot going on here, but it doesn't mm. feel over raw. Yeah, it's definitely like a hot forward beer, but... That's really nice. Yeah, want to see something funny? <laughs> Let's see. Take a, take a oh, sip of this. Buzz's oh. reaction to Rye PA. Let's take a little the, sip of this. The, the, oh, the lager that's not going to be going good. The lager drinker tests a Rye PA. Oh, you got to get it in yet. Ah. Boy, Oh, Buzz is a sad and panda. There you go. Oh, I don't even have a drink to wash that down with. <laughs> There's water right there if you want it. I haven't drank it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Alright, let's think about this one for a second and get, get Fuzzy a drink. 
Yeah, okay. So we're gonna sit down with this one for a second. We'll be right back. Tastes like garbage. Yep. Mr. Cameron, you expect me to talk? <laughs> no, Mr. Heist, we expect you to bring it to its <laughs> Alright, we're back with Cameron's Rye PA. So, what do we think about this particular beer? Quick, while it's still sunny out? Sort of, sort of. Um, not bad. I gotta say, if any beer really reminded me of it, was the uh, Rising Tide Daymark that we had last fall. This was, was of it? course, with a little bit more of the big seas. But... Yes. It's definitely a more, much more hopsy beer. Um, and maybe not so much of a, right, uh, a ricey spice, spy note, spicy rhino coming out of the back of this one. But um, a very, very drinkable, very enjoyable IPA made with rye. It's really nice. If you do like your big uh, West Coast American style hops, this is uh, this is going to be uh, right in your comfort zone. Yeah, it's almost like a little too sweet for a West Coast beer though. But it's kind of like a big, nice, really nice blending of the styles with some rye added. Yep. That's a really nice, good quality beer. I like this. Yep. If this, the rest of the Cameron's products hold yeah. up to this, we're doing good. It's like Californian hops, almost uh, like Californian hops with some earth, with some earthy British styles, um, along with some East Coast malt flavors. Whatever. All right. So thank you, very Albino Ryan, for sending this particular beer. I'm going to give this four and a quarter. I agree. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. quarter. What do you give it, Scott? Garbage. Garbage. Mm -hmm. Garbage. So he doesn't count. He has no legs. All right. Stumpy doesn't count. I give it for non beer drinkers uh, two. Yeah, yeah. If you're not a big beer drinker, do not buy this. Not used to the hoppy stuff. No, no garbage. No. All right. But I liked it. You liked it. Four and a quarter for both of you. Nice, almighty. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.